I had gone to school for uh, two years in Arkansas in the music department. And I had a professor who was a Baylor graduate. Uh, several of us students came down here one uh, summer, I think it was, just to visit campus. I just had to come to Baylor. So anyway, I worked it out, and I came, as a, came in as a junior. So I was here three years as an undergrad in the School of Music, and uh, later uh, came to work here and at that time would, took some classes and uh, got my master's. There are some things that words and actions can't express and music can. It goes to a deeper level. I think that's fundamentally what attracts me. People who are very good technicians and they can play a lot of notes and play them very precisely. If they don't have that other element, if they don't have the musicality and if they don't have that expression to go with it, then it doesn't touch anybody. And I try to teach my students to keep in mind what you're trying to communicate to yourself and to your audience. You've always got to have that in the forefront of your mind because anybody can play notes, but if the music does not have a soul, then it's, it's not going anywhere. I see the Carolina as a voice for the campus. We use it in a, in a lot of different ways. We have between 12 and 14 recitals a semester. I try to schedule a recital for myself once a year and, and do what I call more kind of academic things, not just but keep them accessible to a casual audience because the thing different about the Carillon is you have people ranging from, you know, oblivious to music to those who care deeply about it. And you've got to be able to touch that range of people. It's, I think it's just part of the landscape of the college. You know, like the buildings are brick and we've got beautiful flowers and there's just this sense of tradition and connection and you've it's got this intellectual and spiritual atmosphere about it that you just don't get anywhere else. I think when our alums leave the campus and they're out in the world and when they come back, you know, to visit at homecoming or whenever, there's just a sense there, you know, you, you, you hear them say so and you see it in their faces that this is where my life began. This is what got me started on my way. This is my anchor. It just seems to get bigger and bigger, the significance of being on a college campus like this with such a sense of tradition and it's got the atmosphere to go with it and I think the bells are part of that. I had a lady upstairs one day and I was after a recital and I played a hymn and she cried and I thought this is why I do this. Mm -hmm.